what up everybody so uh, today I'm gonna shoot another installment for why the fuck am I even saying it? <laughs> you're watching it <laughs> um, well today's episode is um, we're going back this way this is where I really should have um, well maybe not but this I, I should have done this before uh, Pumanas and um, uh, what the hell was the last video? <laughs> anyway, my my memory is not as good as it used to be. You can tell I'm getting older. Um, but anyway, today's episode um, patching. So I have um, my eight. Actually, I have two of my nets here that I could do patches. But I'm gonna try to find some holes on my um, my eight footer, and uh, we'll get to some patching. All right, so uh, I can't find any big holes in this net. I'm sure there's one somewhere, but um, we'll just do this one here. So one of the things people, some people might tell you is to make your patches a different color from your net. Well, you know, your initial color of your net. So this one's like a light blue with um some clear i believe in here so um anyway so first things first you want to uh what do you call examine and you know figure out, make sure you know what's going on here first so this one's pretty obvious because it's a small hole you can see that it's just this bottom of this eye broke so um, what i want to do first is just clip off these tag ends be careful to not cut your cut your eye I mean learning how to patch so you know I mean if you do then you do but okay now I'm gonna use this green line um, downside is I believe this green line is 25 pound and I think this is it might be 25 but it might be a slightly different diameter but it's okay I'll just um you know I'm gonna rock it anyway now please bear with me because this I'm in an awkward position I have my net really low as you can see I have this box with a black t-shirt over it um, the reason why I'm putting this black background is so that you can see the net the line not uh, a heavy contrast you know what I mean just trying to make proper videos for you guys so you know um, I can't always draw everything on the iPad to break it down so I want to make sure you can see see it in the video the best you can of course I'm using my GoPro so we got 4k quality if you got 4k on your whatever you're watching on click on your settings on YouTube when you're watching the video click the upper right hand click the settings and change your quality up as high as you can get it so what I'm gonna do is just tie on just like this just a regular slip knot um I this this goes for also when your shuttle runs out of line and you gotta tie back in because this would say this is where you're sewing and it is the last I did and you came down you tied up or oh, whatever or oh, here sorry and you ran out of line so you have to you have to cut your line here and, and you gotta tie back on you have to continue on um you could you could tie on however you feel like you could tie around the two I prefer to just go around the one just like this tie a regular square knot okay then from here I'll go around the, the two okay it makes sure, you same as when you tie your, your your knots when you're sewing in you know in that make sure it's above right the, above above the knot of your bottom of your v same uh, if you haven't watched the other video then re revert refer back to it on what i'm talking about okay um check if there's slippage if there is you like that what i'm gonna do is just go on more anytime you have an issue with a knot slipping Either just go backwards, cut it off, go backwards, 
figure out what you're doing wrong or try adding another knot see that adding another knot fixed my problem here so uh okay i'll cut this tagline off so that it doesn't get in the way get music going on here uh, <laughs> gonna hit me to copyright on my video but that's okay i'm not worried about copyright my video because i'm not doing this for monetary gain nor is my youtube monetized anyway so go. I'm, gonna, I'm trying to keep an eye I'm, i have it streaming with not streaming but like previewed on my ipad so i can make sure i know what's happening in the video so i'm trying to explain everything best for you guys so Right now, I'm just kind of working upside down, like as I normally saw. So, imagine your gauge being here. You cannot just go up and, you know, under and it co collect up here because then this won't be locked down. So I have to lock this down. So when you're when you're patching, you gotta lock down after every spot you pick up. Um. Now there's different ways you can do this. I'm gonna do this without a gauge. And I'm going to show you how that works for me. Um, see, I don't really like... This is Andy. This is Andy. I don't really like how it's the line is not... It seems like the line has a lot of memory. But anyway. Um, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just... Tie a regular square knot. Or whatever you want to call it. A slip knot. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to put some spit on this line. Okay? Because I want it to be able to... To slip if you don't want to put spit then just use some get a cup of water okay so how do I if I'm not using a gauge how am I gonna get this eye correct right because I made a slip knot I can watch I can I can tighten it see how it just slipped see now it's how it's too short or I can just pull it back and get it to the right size. Essentially, all I'm trying to do is match this length to this length, right? If you think about it. See, I don't have tension here, so I gotta... Let me see if I can move a little. There we go. Bear with me guys, I know this video is probably going to be a little bit more than I, longer than I'd want it to because I'm trying to I'm trying to keep the net. I'm sitting on the floor right now guys. I'm sitting on the floor and I have my net tied off to my dresser so it's, uh, it's a little trickier. Hang on, sorry, I just dropped the damn needle into the net. Now it's all tangled up get this out okay so see how it's off I need this longer we just put there okay I'm gonna match it up I'm gonna get trouble with this. This this piece is giving me trouble. So hopefully after I lock it down. So I'm gonna go around the two. Same as I'm working upside down now. I wanna make my make my knot above the bottom of that V. We're still good there. Check for slippage. We're good. See the downside of this is because you're making a knot and you're putting the line through and you gotta make adjustments, you're gonna get some, you know, what do you call it? Some wiggle in that line now, but I don't know, to me it's not a huge deal because after a while it's gonna settle in. You can do the hot water trick, whatever you want after, maybe to help relax that line. So now I know I gotta go up here. Again, I'm gonna just make a slip knot. So I guess maybe if you're doing it this way, You'd want to try and get as close as you can. Okay. Put some spit there. Get my... I'm 
there should be good um if you don't want to do it this way of course use a gauge if you want your if you want everything super exact on point then just use a gauge um for me a small patch like this i don't know it's not that big of a deal and like i said i'm not too concerned about this wiggly line here um i'm gonna lock that down whoops just like that and there's a patch cut this off there you have it um let me try to find if I get there's a bigger hole somewhere all right guys so check this out I found something interesting I guess um, when the guy was sewing this net, he made a mistake here. So I'm gonna cut it because essentially me cutting this open would be the same idea as a hole. So now I can fix this. I see what happened there. He'd, when he came around, he, he picked up picked up that eye by accident. So, let's clip that. Um, I don't like how this line is kind of loose now. So I'm, I'm gonna just create a bigger hole here for you guys. Uh, let's go here. Let's cut this. If you can pop this because remember when you when you come down you go around your gauge you pick this up you tie a knot around it so here to here is a continuous line so depending how the person ties their knots you could sometimes you could pop this open and take the excess line off i can't seem to to get it to have i don't know how this how he ties his eyes so um instead of breaking it cutting it i'm gonna just leave it and just tie onto it anyway so um again assess what's going on look at what's happening here you know what i mean um missing line here here and here essentially just like like a backwards and um in this case i can go without say if this was missing it would be harder for me to do this without a gauge um i don't have a gauge for this size eyes because this eyes are kind of like a not an odd ball but it's um it's two and a quarter so i don't have a one and an eighth card so um i'm gonna just work with what's here so again We'll start from the left because we tie from left to right naturally uh, maybe left handers i don't know maybe they can work from right to left i don't know but uh i just want to make it as easy as possible for me so in in your case also if you're a right hander or whatever you're likely learning from left to right so just set it up that way um do your patches that way That way everything's um, easy for you to remember and if there's any problem in the future you know what was done you know what I mean if somebody else had patched your net and then you have to repatch it or whatever you're not gonna be exactly sure on what was done unless this person just so happens so the same as you or whatever you know so uh, make a little slip knot here try to get it as close as I can to the correct lane 
wet the line here. I'm gonna lock this. Okay, you see how? Well, maybe I get lucky. Oh. It needs to be a little shorter. There you go. So after you get the hang of this, you can kind of do um do these eyes pretty easily without a gauge. So I know that this is matched. To, I mean, it could be slightly off. You know what I mean? Um, don't beat yourself up over it. It's it's a it's such a small difference that um you'll never know. You know what I mean? It's not like a tiny little sixteenth of an inch difference is gonna kill you um, if you have two inch eyes if you're patching two inch eyes you'd probably very very much want to use a gauge because you don't want it to slip under the two inch size you know what I mean you'd have to be exact uh, precise so that you know you stay within your two inch legal okay this should be good no slipping up same thing just make a regular old square knot put some wet that line okay we can tell that this this side is too long already so I got Oh, see, I don't want it to slip to the other side. There we go. I felt it pick up the slack that I needed to. Just like that. Matched up. How I'm matching it is this length and this length should be the same. Or very, very close. So to me, that's, that's very close. It's good enough for me. Yeah, and I'm still very much going to be in legal eye size. Okay. And I go down here. Does it matter where I tie around? Um, this might be a question that pops into some people's heads. Uh-oh. What am I... What did I do? Uh... right because do I tie on to here the town to here um, one place you wouldn't want to tie is here because when you're trying to get your slack what you know this is just gonna slip back and forth here you're not gonna you know it's not gonna be easy to hold some kind of tension this is just gonna keep slipping so you'd want it either here or here is that way when you're pulling this V stops it okay uh, for me I'm gonna go on this side so like this like that pick up the slack on this needle okay let's wet wet this line All right. Yep. Good. Now, can you tie above the onto this V? Um, that'll likely work, but I think you're just gonna make a bulkier knot here, because I'm already on this side of you know on this V, not this side. I might as well go around like this you know what I mean technically I'm working upside down yeah because normally you always tie your knots up here and you pull down because I'm anchoring here now I'm going upside down I gotta I gotta lock in and pull upwards like how you do um, when you come all a full circle and tie onto your drop down okay 
that seems to be good but because I'm cutting this I'm gonna just put one more knot just for extra measure just like that bingo so I'm not finding any big holes in this net um, I've had this net for a couple of years now and I haven't ever really busted it bad enough to the, where I get a big hole so uh, shit so I'm gonna just keep it like that um, yeah but that's basically it as long as you, you know your knots see that and um now in future why, why some people prefer or advise you to use a different color line for your patching is for this because you know in the future I know where my spots are so people would consider it a weak spot because you know you tie there whatever etc etc I don't I don't know I don't have enough experience to um, really say if this arrow would need a tension again it might break somewhere around here I might get a hole around here somewhere so it's possible I might need to work next to it um, you know but that's your guys basics right there on patching um, I think for anyone if you're not ready to start sewing a net start there just just patch just do some patches go go around your net here we go yes I found a bigger hole okay so let's do this all right guys so here's a good good example um you know this is you consider this a decent sized hole already because uh I don't know I mean you know I don't I don't know how much of a hole like this size would really affect if you throw on like a pile a holy holy or something man you 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 might lose one fish to that you know but um and I think any other fish that would probably try to search for a hole I think like oohs they're pretty smart they'll they'll bump to the bottom of your net and um whatever's but um I don't think a fish would really be able to find this hole and not get their tail dorsal gills stuck in somewhere else so but um for aesthetics you know okay so let's assess what's going on here I know I need to here to come to here back up I need to connect here to here so again, I'm gonna stop, stop, start at my highest point and work from left to right. So I know that this is the highest eye that needs to be fixed and then to the left. But if this was all missing, I can't go here to here, right? Here, because that, that wouldn't be there. So I, I would have to have to use a gauge because I mean maybe there's a way not to but I'd have to make here to here and just pinch it and hold it and hope I end up with the right length with the right size but um I don't know I gotta go and make more um gauges dumb boards whatever you want to call them okay so tie on tie on um, anchor anchor do my half hitch around the two okay Use this slips it's a little slippage so I'm gonna do one more half hitch around one there we go Now, 
Okay, I know I gotta come here. I I don't have any. I might maybe my other ten footer might have a huge hole that I could show. What would you do if a big section was missing? But for now, I think most people would end up with just smaller holes like this, or you'd be an idiot like me. <laughs> And tear a whole fucking side out the damn net. <laughs> um, that's what I did with the no skirt, no skirt net, the no skirt challenge net. Um, hindsight, you know, I felt stupid because I know that me throwing the net without a skirt is what caused the big hole. So this side's a little shorter. Okay. Pretty good. I've hit the two. No slippage. Okay, I'm gonna show you this. If you really want, you can just tie around the two. Like that. Um, somebody might prefer this. Prefer that. Um, I guess there's not much difference. Whatever works for you. Whatever is easier for you. I guess. Empire Art Studio. Empire Art Studio. Mm hmm. On the hand, um, uh, maybe like sixty bucks. For when? Um, I'd have to check my calendar. Like probably Monday would be soonest. Or maybe maybe tomorrow. I might have some spots tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right. Sorry, guys. Business calls. 
I don't know what's up with this, uh... Well, anyway. There you go. Now... That's pretty much it. So, same thing. Know your knots. When you patching, you have to tie anchor, right? Anchor your line, tie a knot to every connection you make. So if this hole is much bigger, I would probably say if all this section was gone, I'd have to use a gauge, tie, right? I'd sew as normal cut, come down, sew as normal cut, blah, blah, blah. Um, when you have a real, real big hole, like how I did with the, the no skirt net, I I cut out a full section of this net. I'm talking like, huge <laughs> um i had to count the rows and make sure for i was tying here i had to come like all the way across so i had to make sure i connected to the same row but if you ever just have a huge hole where you're afraid to do it because you might mess up the rows or whatever then just ask somebody else you know what i mean like i've done it already i've pretty much sewn in the whole section of a net um, it was a pain in the ass. I had to sew it. I fucked it up. I cut it out. I sewed it again. Fucked it up again. I cut it out. <laughs> Finally got it right in the third time. So. There you have it. Another little video for everybody. Out there in the throwing net community that like learn. The basics of sewing net. Um, I can almost say that's probably where you want to start. Um, probably do that before you even attempt to sew a whole net, because you're likely gonna mess up. And um, when you're sewing a net, man, it's a lot of work. And especially when you start hitting like, you know, the 200, 200 eye mark. And it takes a while for you to go out all around the net, but you don't want to mess up too bad anyway. Sometimes you gotta go back far. Um, I learned that with the original net I was sewing, and even the one I'm sewing now, I still make mistakes. And you see, even the net that I was just working on, that old man's been sewing that for a long time, and he can still make mistakes. So you just gotta be comfortable with. Um, cutting out a section or cutting a couple eyes out and fixing it up um, yeah I, I mean I, I don't know what else to say I just pretty much basics you know what I mean you gotta learn as you go so um, anyway I hope that helps somebody again once again hope that helps somebody anybody out there that can learn from that and help them get somewhere with uh, their journey of sewing nets I'm happy to have helped so yeah um working with this line man this is Andy oh whoops what the hell is it I don't even know where the damn spool of oh there it is Andy, uh, backcountry. I was going for a green, green, that NV green with this net, um, mixed in with the clear, but the section that I do have is, um, some of this Runko Par Mono, but this line feels like it's a little, like there's, you know, like, too smooth um i don't know if maybe they coat it with something or however it comes through their machine that makes the line i could maybe soak it or spray it down with alcohol or something it might help get a little more grip but i did a section in my net and um it's kind of a pain in the ass because i did i did a section that has pumana in it and 
that thing just kept slipping so it's kind of a, a messed up there I shouldn't had I should have cut it out and not continued with that line it's a real small section but I'm pretty far up oh um, so I guess with your lines you might want to tie some knots and see how they work out if they slip you know it's tied around whatever loop it around something and tie a couple knots and see if she slips because you don't want to make the same mistake I did I'm sure a lot of people did it where they wanted to use a certain color and they ordered the line and hope it works out and they sew with it and they're like yeah the thing is crap not completely crap what I would say but it just doesn't work for nets I guess because you know the knots start slipping then you get some problems but um I don't know Maybe I'll just use it for the skirt. Let's finish off. Well, I'm probably gonna finish off. I am. I am gonna finish off the net with the uh, with the clear, the hurricane. I'm gonna tell you right now, man. Going from the hurricane to even the Andy, there's a big. What the? Wow! I used almost this whole thing. Is that the end? Um, hurricane. You pick this up at Walmart. I really like it, uh, even compared to um, the last net I was sewing, or even doing patches and stuff. Uh, this line's been very good with having not having too much memory in it. I don't know if you know what mem you know what I mean. If you're a fisherman, you know what the memory is. When it comes off the spool, it doesn't hold too much of that memory. So um, the net's been staying really relaxed. Um, not too much twisting in the lines you know, it twists it'll twist your your eyes and whatnot or sometimes your whole net just starts doing this twist um this one did it for a little bit and i guess once you get the weight on it it gets longer it'll kind of relax more and then um help keep the net straight but of course in the end i'm gonna hang um not at the end end but um before i sew on the lead line and whatnot i'm gonna hang the net uh gather all the eyes put some weight on it hang it um do do the whole hot water trick help relax it all cinch in those knots a little better um yeah other than that guys um i hope whatever you guys whoever is learning whoever is watching these videos to learn i hope it's working out for you guys again if any questions just drop comments and i'll try to get to it I know somebody asked me to show tying on the lead line. Um, I'm not gonna just yet because I'm waiting till the net I'm currently working on. I get to that point. I'm almost. I should be there within another week or so. Um, week, two weeks maybe. It depends when I can go pick up the lead from Eli. Uh, when we can meet up, I can get the lead from him. And um, when I do finish the net, really, I'm. I'm only at like six and a half feet six and a half feet i think so i got quite a bit more to go before I even um get to the mark for the eight eight foot um and make it an eight foot so i'm gonna sew till about eight and a half make kind of a you know a, a re little bit more relaxed bag i don't want it too poofy and uh we'll see i'll, I'll shoot the video for it then um and I'll try to explain. I think I understand. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I, I mean, you know, it's geometry. You get your radius and your diameter and blah, blah, blah. Um, pi times radius. Get your circumference. So I think I have it correct. Yeah, if not, then <laughs> I'll figure it out. <laughs> All right, guys. Till next video.